Hello my friends, welcome to this new video where we are going to share something different on the channel. This is about the vocabulary in English. Let's increase our vocabulary. This is something that was previously done on the last year, but now we are returning this idea, this concept, so that we can learn more vocabulary. And once you come to Canada, or if you are planning to come to Canada, now even if you are already here but your English is not too advanced, you are on the basic on the internet, intermediate, these videos will help you a lot. So let's start. So the first word that we are going to learn in this video, in this series of videos, is about baby. Everything that is related to baby, we are going to learn six new words, six new actions. So the first one, how do you call when you have your baby in your arms? This couple basically is taking the baby on the hands. So let's suppose that the baby is on the bed or is crying and you want to take the baby with you. So how do you normally decide to take with your arms and take the baby? How do you say to take the baby? So the correct way to say it, to take the baby in your arms is to hold the baby. Can I hold the baby for a second? Now, my mother is holding the baby. Now, I used to hold my baby when he was very tiny. Now he is running. <laughs> but basically it's to hold the baby. Hold the baby. So it's pretty common that once the baby has born, we can say that the baby is going to feed, he is going to eat by the milk that the lady, that the, his mother, her mother, is generating. So basically, in this image, what, what can we see? What is the action to give milk to the baby? How do we call it? Baby is drinking milk from the breast of the, of the mother. So how do you call this action? The way to mention that the baby that you are giving milk, <laughs> that you are uh, giving milk to the baby is nurse. Nurse the baby. Nursing. You can also say breastfeeding, but normally what we are going to say is nurse the baby. That's a little bit curious, you know, because normally nurse, we can also identify it as a, a person. Normally it's a lady that works at the hospital. But in this case, it's a birth that is indicating to feed the baby. Are you able to generate a sentence in past perfect. What is the characteristic of past perfect? It's to indicate something that occurred in the past and last for a specific time period. So are you able to generate a sentence in past perfect with the verb nous? So something like my friend has nous the baby for six months. After that, she was able to give formula. Something in past perfect. Could you create another sentence for the next verb? Next verb. How do you pronounce this verb? And this is a little bit different from what we already know. So what is doing this lady over here? This lady is holding a baby, but not only that. Do you notice this chair? Normally with this chair, it could be with a chair or a chair. Basically, we are moving from the left. Uh, so we are moving, we, we can move from right, from right to back. Or if we are in stand, we are just standing up, then 
we can move from the left to the right, like moving, oscillating, like our arms, so that we sleep, the baby can sleep. So how normally we can in the game, because you are ready how to do it, how to say it in Spanish, but how do you normally call this action in English? Do you want to sleep the baby? So how do you request this for another person? How do you indicate that you have your baby and you want to sleep the baby? What is this action? How do you say it? Do you say, I'm moving the baby so that he can sleep in a complete sentence? Or do you only say, I'm rocking my baby. Rocking the baby. Or rock the baby. Rock. That's curious, right? Because normally when you said rock, you refer to, I mean, we can uh, refer to multiple things like idioms, different verbs, or, uh, or nouns. For example, noun could be something like something hard. When you walk on the street, you can find rocks. Or, for example, something about the verb, when you said, I'm rocking, I'm rocking, uh, he, he rocks. He rocks, uh, he or you rock and roll. Normally, that is referring to the action of having a good rhythm, right? You rock and roll. Uh, or, for example, another type of idioms is like, for example, uh, my relationship is on the rock. Normally, when you say my relationship is on the rock, is that your relation, your, the, the situation with your parent? your girlfriend with your boyfriend is in a critical situation. So that is something that happens a lot with the English. You have something and then uh, it can have multiple meanings. But something very important, rock. Rock the baby means try to sleep the baby, moving from different movements, oscillations, so that the baby can sleep. If you have your baby they are growing, they grow up so fast. And basically, what do you do when he gets or she gets something that you don't expect or that is hard to achieve, that is hard to reach? Normally, the baby is happy and you also uh, show some kind of joy. So you like could, could raise your hands up or you maybe just smile to the baby and you say, oh, come on, you did it. Oh, well done, baby. Oh, that's what good boys do. Like, you indicate good things to the baby, right? So how do you normally call this action? You can also congratulate the baby, but what is another way to say it? So the way that you congratulate your baby to achieve or even you children, but only the baby, so you praise the baby, praise, you praise the baby, praise the baby. Normally this is when you are happy with his achievement and he's also happy he could get something that before he was not able to do it. And something interesting for example is that when, for example on my work, when as I did it great customer is happy about the service, they normally what they do is to give a praise. So that could be something that's a variant from the bad praise. A praise is when you receive good comments from the customer and they said oh, the engineer was mag magnificent with the service he provided. He taught me something that I have never learned. But praise, praise you baby. Have you praised somebody? Have you praised somebody recently? Time to go to the mall. It's time to go around on the street. Uh, the baby is not able to be in your arms. You cannot hold the baby. So what should you do? Uh, if you are using a car, normally if you are using a car, we do this. Right? So, what are we doing when we put the baby inside a car seat? B 
these are belts. And normally, the action to close the belts, how is this called? How do you make sure that the baby is secure to travel with you in your car? So the action to put the belt in a locked position is to buckle up. Buckle up. So every time you put the car seat in the car, you need to make sure that you have buckled up the belt seat of your baby. Buckle up. This is a phrase of word, but normally it's referring to buck, to, to be secure in the car. Buckle up. Are you able to generate a sentence with buckle up? Something probably about future perfect. I will try to create a sentence in future perfect. As the same way I would like you to try. I will have buckle up the baby by the time you arrive at the office. Now, something very common with children, with babies, like before, let's say, before nine years, there be something around it, is that they tend to cry. Like this example that we can see in this picture. So what is the baby doing? What is this small boy is doing? He's crying. And what is the mom trying to do? What is this girl trying to do? In this case, yeah, the, the lady is trying to calm down the baby, just to say, hey, nothing happens, everything is fine, nothing wrong, uh, just to do something so that he can feel secure. So how could you normally indicate that you are giving, you are transmitting peace, you are transmitting self-confidence that you are transmitting uh, uh, something to be relaxed around it. So the correct way to indicate that you are trying to calm down the baby is to comfort, to, to comfort the baby. So comfort the baby means that you are trying to relax the baby so that he don't, is not crying, so that he can, is not crying. Comfort the baby. Sometimes even we can comfort ourselves by indicating anything that not precisely we are crying, but you are like sad, you are desperate, so you try to comfort yourself, try to make you feel confident, try to make you feel comfortable. Comfort the baby in this case, comfort the baby. And just as an example, what would be the difference between comfort and rocking. Basically, rocking is when your baby is in a relaxed state and you want to sleep. You can also rock your baby while you are trying to comfort. But the idea is uh, different. Rocking is to sleep and comforting is that he or she stops crying. So, hope you have enjoyed this video. The idea is, now that we have started, to not stop doing this type of videos. Definitely, there is a lot of content to do about it. There is a lot more vocabulary that we are going to see. So, I invite you that you be uh, aware about our channel, where we are going to be uploading videos about vocabulary. The idea is that you can have more alternative ways to express yourself, yourself and we can keep growing together. Every Wednesday you will see vocabulary in English, so you are really welcome to watch the next video next Wednesday. If you do like the video, do not forget to thumbs up and do not forget to share. And if you are not subscribed, uh, please do it. Subscribe to our channel. And uh, see you in the next one, guys. See you.